What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I'm Reckless. Hi, we got Bill Burr roasting women for 10 minutes. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. It was a time we was reacting to Bill Burr a lot. You feel me? Definitely glad to be back. You feel me? Um, this has been a lot. It's definitely been a lot of Bill Burr. So make sure y'all comment down below Bill Burr for us to check out. Let's get a video. Does your wife watch any of these games with you? Does she? No, she has the female complex, multitasking <laughs> brain. That's why they can't be happy. They they just they just. Always, they're like, what is that lizard that can look at two things at once? That's what they're like. So they got the shoes they want, and then they see some other woman walking in going, oh, look at this skinny bitch over here. Women are so overrated, right? We, we went from- Wait, wait, what? We wait, went, wait, wait, what? We what? went, wait, we went, what? we went from not listening to them to now it's just, it's just, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like that believe women, it's like all of them, <laughs> oh God! You know what makes women happy? Nothing. Nothing makes them happy, and that is why they have slowly taken over the NFL because it annoys them that that we can just sit there with like a pizza and a drink, like eh, that's not holding, and just just be like and enjoy ourselves. I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels, going like, I don't understand. How come female athletes? don't make as much as male professional athletes, right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, why is that? Uh, that is a conundrum, I have, I have no idea. Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets! <laughs> and they say, being a mother is the hardest job out Most there. Most difficult job Most in difficult. the... Oprah said that. Oprah said that, yeah. Has, yeah. That, has your opinion on that, on that phrase, changed at all since, since no. you've had a kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. It's not the most difficult job on the planet. It just isn't. <laughs> Dude, I did roofing in July. I almost, as a redhead, I almost died. There's people, there's people that work on like oil. What was that movie that guy made? The oil, the, the fucking, you know, they there drill will be blood. oil. What is it? There will be blood. With Not the... there will be blood. The, uh, out in the ocean, they would drill. I can never remember the names. Deepwater. Mark Wahlberg yeah, was Deepwater there. Deepwater Horizon, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys were working on, on an oil rig. The fucking thing blows up. <laughs> They're on fire. They gotta jump into water that's on fire. Salty water into their wounds. You gotta swim out of that oil and fire and then tread water. Praying to God that the Coast Guard is gonna get there before the sharks do. Now talk to me about a toddler. Oh, he was so fussy today. I just, he wouldn't eat his peas. Yeah, and just the level of reward that is, you know, as annoying as a kid is, like they smile at you and it's over. It's over. So, I mean, you, you don't get that, you know, working on an oil rig when your buddy's greasy face lights up. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It really is all worth it. I don't know. I have this, that's, that's all my ink. I have this uh, mic on, so. Yeah, that's all right. Be a gentleman and help me off my <laughs> Hey! Work out? <laughs> Gee, I can't believe your relationships don't work out. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Feminism doesn't bug me. You know, it doesn't bother me. I'm not afraid of it or anything like that. You know, for the simple fact that I know it's gonna fail, you know? And I, I take comfort in that. I do. I'm not rooting for it because I know it doesn't like me. Um, yeah. Do you know why you know, I think it's not going to survive? Why it's not going to be successful anyways? Because they still need men's help to make it happen. I don't understand it. I don't understand why women just can't work with each other and make this shit happen. They keep coming to us like, you more men need to care about this issue. Where are the men to stand up and say something? Like, why do I have to fucking say something? This is your problem. Why are you always dragging us into this shit? I, I, you know, I love women and everything. I'm just finding I'm not like compatible with them. You know what I mean? You ever just feel that? 
Like, women have, like, too much energy for me. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. You ever notice that? It's almost like they see that open day. They're like, oh, my God, let's go fill it up with shit. No, then they just come at you with one horrible idea after another. Horrible ideas. Like, you want to make some sandwiches and go to the park? You want to go to the container store, get some containers for your T-shirts? This is the worst one. Ever get this one? You want to go to brunch? You want to go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, fucking no! You can't say that, right? You gotta keep them happy. So what do you do? You agree. Like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? Now nah, you're thinking. Now nah, you're thinking. Then we can sit around to listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs, like, is that pesto? Is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. I thought it was pesto. Oh, you just want to flip the whole fucking table over? Because every time we fight, as I'm driving home, I get a text from you that says, you know I love you, right? And I go, yeah, I love you that, too. That isn't me. I've never, I've never said, you know, I... Are you, you know, fucking serious? Well, my memory isn't good, but oh. I don't remember doing that. I'll show you. I, what, you save I them? can't believe you're... No, text just exist. <laughs> yeah, I, I press save on my text. What kind of phone do you have? No, I, I, like, delete them after a while. What are you saving it for? You delete texts? Yeah. Oh, I never do, because all our friends die, and then it's all you have left. <laughs> How many have you had? Die? I'm up. I kind of. I have a huge day. list. I'm I, thirty. I thirty. Yeah. Get something funny out of that. <laughs> That's what you do. I'm not good at that. I'm not good in the mom. All right. I do like you, and I just I always feel like you're frustrated with me. I fucking love you. Look at my Sometimes posture right now. I'm like, I'm as far over into this chair as I can possibly be. I just feel like kind of came here to hang out and have a good time. And you just like, like that intro was just like, yeah. It was I just thought you'd like that. I fucking hate this guy. He's a douchebag, but he came down here. I mean, that's how I heard it. <laughs> This was me. It runs out. Runs out. I'm thinking about life. No means no, that's another one. No means no. It's like, no, it doesn't. All right? Look, look, no means no. No, that means no. All right, but no, stop it. What are you doing? Oh my God. You're being so bad. Stop it. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me. So I'm just going to make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people. Right? But then, then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Oh, your honor, she said no. Stop it. What are you doing? You're being so bad. Yeah, and you just sit me like, she didn't fucking say it like that! She didn't say it like that! So let's talk, uh, let's talk white women here, shall we? Let's talk white women, white women, the amazing, amazing your accomplishments over the last few years. I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, generals around the world should be analyzing this. Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci-booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. I don't know how they did it. I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. My name is so hard with my SUV and my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Trash and white guys, the nerve. Where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. 
Let me, I, listen, I don't want to speak ill of my bitches here, okay? I don't, but let's, let's go back in history here, okay? You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood muddy, and occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to. <laughs> Thank Real you. Real funny. I think I've seen that one, the last. The last, uh, yeah. what's the name? Yeah, we react to a lot of the stand-ups from Bill Burr. Man, I'll tell you some funny shit. Uh, I think the last video I reacted to of Bill Burr was actually the... I think he was talking about the WNBA and women. And I, I honestly, like, feel him. Like, that whole video, I felt him. Because I feel like women in the W... I said... I didn't say that in, like, two or three videos. Yeah. Um, the whole fact of women not supporting women with yeah, the WNBA. Yeah, said that there's never any women. It, it, but it, but if it is women at the games, yeah. why is it women at the games? Do you know? No. It's because of their husbands. If their husband go to a game or somebody end up with free tickets, it's it's not really like a woman not, like oh okay supporting. Exactly. Yeah. It's I don't think it's women out there. <clears throat> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all comment down below. If women is just like oh, babe, let's go to a, a WNBA game tonight. Are oh, you ready to go to W? It, I don't. I don't. I just can't hear that. You know what I'm saying? Coming from a woman, <laughs> yeah. like I just don't. Um, honestly, me personally, I know we have Indiana Fever here. I don't even know when they season start. I don't remember the last game that I've been to a WNBA game. I don't know if I will. I don't even know how much their tickets are. And if I see that their tickets are over a hundred dollars, that's bullshit. Because I feel like it's not really nothing. Like I'm. I, it's to a point. I thought you looked it up <clears> in one day and they were cheap. What? The Indiana your favorite tickets on Game Time. I think you did. Yeah. No, I don't no, nah, probably Indiana Pacers. But oh. I don't know about no Indiana Fever. I I'm about to look at it in a minute. Yeah. But um and it's it is one thing, like I feel like if the game changes and it's other women and I really don't mainly have nothing against the WNBA, but if it's other women supporting WNBA and they actually play like it, it's just weird. Just I don't know. Yeah. Like it's just weird. It's it's a totally in in we all human, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be different, uh, male and a female. But the whole thing with the pay and shit like that, like it just don't, oh, like you yeah. don't get that okay. same, that male performance with the female performance. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing that I have with the with the WNBA, the, the females complaining about it. And on top of that, like I just, I don't know, like I just haven't really. Yeah, I know I've never been to a game, so. Yeah, um, so it's, it's, it's definitely, it, it's just one of those things. You know what I'm saying? I love basketball, you feel me? Uh, male or female playing it, but it's just, when you complain about something like that, about pay, you know what I'm saying? And then you have this different, like, I don't know. It's just different for me, that, but that's my opinion. You feel me? And everybody entitled for it. But, um, you feel me? I love basketball. You feel me? Definitely love basketball. Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, definitely Bill Burr. Uh, more Bill Burr will be, uh, you know what I'm saying, drops. So make sure y'all comment down below the next Bill Burr video. Make sure y'all type in Bill Burr like for reckless to make sure you feel me? We ain't reacted to the video if you request it. Which I already know. Catch y'all next one.